Hey guys, it's Jimmy here and welcome back to Race Room Racing Experience or R3E as it's better known for another video. Uh, this time today we're looking at the Group 5 mod which I uh, received a message about earlier on on Twitter notifying me that, that it has come out and I've been waiting for this for ages so I was pretty damn hyped to hear that news. Uh, as you can see, I'm driving the Nissan Skyline 2000 RS. I think it's the R31 or R30. Someone correct me please if I'm wrong, because I probably am. And we're driving a 15 minute race against the AI around Salzburg Ring. Now, a bit of a downside to the car I've chosen. I've chosen this car because it's boxy and awesome and look how it's just so angular. I love angles. Um, but it's the slowest car of a lot, 570 horsepower around there. It doesn't sound like it's a small amount, but compared to the other cars we're up against, it is. So anyway guys, let's get into it. I'm really looking forward to getting this race underway because I love this car and this track. And I'm hoping you guys will as well. So waiting for that to go out now. Got to try and get a good start on this thing because the turbo lag is unreal. So got to try and get the turbo working off a start. Too much turbo. Oh god, come on. I, I, I got absolutely murked at the start of that there. Absolutely fail fish. Coming on turn one. I've got to wait for the AI to sort of do their thing, I think. Because, um, well, as you can see, they don't like the first corner. Can I come through, please? Oh, wow, okay. Getting, oh, getting touched a little bit there. Come on, give me the speed. Having to wait an age before I hit that turbo. This is why I love this car, because it's just so rubbish, you know, if you're not on the boost. Makes it driving it a bit more of a challenge. Come on, get out of the way. AI hey, aren't on a particularly high setting, because I wanted to give you some good racing, and I'm not too hot at this combination yet. So... Yeah, if they're a little bit stupid, that's why. Come up now. I, I used to call this a straight, but it really isn't a straight at all. It's just a very fast section of corners. And this is why Salsa Ring is great. Into fifth gear, still on the boost. At about 180 mile an hour. We're in the sip stream though, so that's why it's so high. Down to fourth gear. And then negotiating this very difficult, just long right hander. Down to third. And then second gear eventually. And that's pretty much of that for Solbus Ring. We're coming around to the uh, last section now. It is, this, this track has the best last corner to it ever. I love the last corner on this track. Get out of the way. Got cars are very slow around here. We're making up positions though, which is nice. We rarely make up positions. Still in second gear. Off the boost. Still off the boost. We'll feel the boost come on. Off the boost. Oh, I'll get in contact from the car behind me. Off the boost. And there's the boost. That's a Sylvia behind me. Almost ran into the pit lane there. It flashed up for a second. So, um... Group 5s and why they're awesome. Now you might notice that we have ridiculous body kits on these cars. Jimmy, why is that? As a Skyline is uh, spun by a Capri. It's because there was a very odd regulation irregularity that said that the uh, body had to be a certain uh, certain width. But there was no mention of wheel arches as a fab car Porsche gets thrown around in front of us. Those things are beasts, about 800 horsepower or so. So you know, that's another 200 plus on us. Just struggling to get onto the power there. Have to lift a little bit. We've got the Capri. No, we haven't. The Capri found its power again. That's why you see the. You know, that's where the body ends in the Capri, and then you can see where the wheel arch begins. The uh, the wing as well could only be the width, I think, of the uh, of the body. So that's why all the wings are so small as well. Oh, oh! I nearly contact with that Capri a couple of times. That would have sent us round. Come on, boost! so many cars. I'm racing about 24 cars, I think that's the maximum you can have, and that's including myself as I just touch the front of that Corvette in front. Corvettes are powerhouses. I think the Corvette and the Monza don't have turbos, and the rest do. To be fair, they don't need them, they have so much power. They just have miracles to have a turbo. Just dancing out the last corner, oh, having to... Again, just going to pit lane there. Get a little bit of uh, frame rate issues there. Every time I go around, wow, that Capri's fast, okay. Even with my error. And we're going to beat him in the braking zone though. Just keep it in first gear. And then hit the power. There's the turbo change just as we hit it. And again hit the turbo over the bump there. These things are a lot of fun to drive though. I'll give you that. I'm really into these old sort of turbo cars. That just try to kill you at every corner. That's what driving is about isn't it? Just challenging yourself. Oh there it is. It's like it all comes at once. It's like you have like 100 horsepower. Until you hit the turbo. And then you have 570. And it all comes in one bigger plop. And then fifth gear, nice and nice and short fifth gear, just to keep on the boost for this straight. 
170, 180, there it is. Such a difficult corner, this one. Gets a lot tight, and you think it does as a Corvette in front of us, forgets how to drive for a second. As we shift down again, just to get back on the boost and get past before we get to the last section of the course. That's one of the 320 turbos in front, we'll try to go around the outside. There's the Chevrolet Monza, and that's the Monza off as well. Come on, get on with it, lads. Now let's dance around the south corner again, let's see if we can get us right on second gear this time. It needs to be a bit tighter. <laughs> Fantastic, you just slide round, it's great. Very sure need to fix that pit lane thing though, that is annoying. I'm coming up to the first chicken and we do it, do it all again. Salzburg Ring's a fantastic track, very old school. Don't see it used much nowadays because it is that old school. Wow, Mr Monza! No need for that, is there? We go up through the gears again, up into third. And then down into second for this long right hander that goes on for ages, it really does. But I get that, oh I got that right. Exit bites you though, oh, especially when the turbo comes on just as you get to the exit. Now watch me be left behind by a Corvette. You can hear the America from here. Come back, I'm in the slipstream as well on the boost and nothing. Look at it go! <laughs> go little Corvette! <laughs> Never, uh, I've been watching the videos back that I've done over the last couple of days, I didn't realise I laughed like that, the haha <laughs> sort of thing. Sort of frustration a bit that I do because it sounds stupid, but that is genuine sort of awesome uh, giggle there. And look, we're coming out the field nicely. You know, severely underpowered skyline now again, that last corner that I love so much. Come on, give it to me. Oh! Oh, yes! Oh, matron. Oh, what a fantastic experience this is. I, I really like Race Room. Some people don't. Some people. I think the sim racing, or oh, the sim racing audience, is just really negative towards anything new. I thought sort of, I was a part of that for a long time. Embrace things, enjoy them. Like, I love the idea that I get to drive a fucking Group Five car. Not many sims offer that. And then the quality of this thing is awesome. That the sounds, the sounds are fantastic. I mean, at the end of this um, video. I'll try and remember because I'm stupid. I've, I, I did record a clip earlier of some like external sounds of just the cars just going by, and it's believable. It could be real. Presentation in race room is so fantastic. Got no one to follow now, so I've got to try and guess how to do this corner on my own. Oh, that's running wide. Using fourth gear off the boost, so so no power. Third gear, and there's the power. Just running it. And there in second, another skyline in front. Look how bo that, that's how boxy the skyline is. Look, the length of the rear wing there is how big the actual body is. The rest is just real arch. That's why this, this is fantastic. Ultimate racer's dream. This, and I'm a bit of a Japanese fanboy when it comes to cars. So driving, driving this is a, a treat, definitely. No idea how long we've got left. I'm just enjoying driving while we're going. Yeah, I've made up quite a few positions though. I find myself breaking earlier and earlier for this. I don't like using first gear, but you have to because you don't have any boost otherwise. Oh, Jimmy, that was a bit rough. Tell you what, next lap, if I remember, I'll, I'll go through there in a second and you'll see the difference of just, you know, having boost and not having boost. Again, second gear, just taking it easy. Nice, there you go. Right, trying to hang on to this guy now from the sit stream of our fellow Skyline. We should start getting, we are a little bit. Nice shift to fifth. Yeah, just peaking at 180 miles an hour in the sit stream. Four through here, nice and gentle. And then down to third right at the end just for the power sake. Really just chucking it into third. And then to second for this last tight section. We could end up winning this. I think that's a. I think that's. This is, oh no, no, there are cars in front. Okay. The uh, Diet Coke skyline gave me some dip there, but I've just slid it in front of him. Okay, and then... Oh, every time, I swear. Oh, that time was a bit dangerous. Oh! 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 Well, how rude. Skyline Senpai, why you do this? I mean, yeah, I'm going to show you guys what second's like through here. So we're in second now. I'm going to keep it in second. You can compare it to the car in front. Okay. I'm now full throttle, full throttle, full throttle, full throttle, full throttle, full throttle. There's the turbo. 
There's just no power when you want it. The skyline's naughty. Oh, I don't like. Oh, around the outside of the naughty skyline. Where is he? Yeah, screw you, man. Don't know how I stayed in a straight line there. I think he hit me in just the right way. I was expecting to go round. And going round on the straight isn't really very good. Something you don't want to happen. Bear in mind, guys, also that I'm not running this at the highest settings, and I'm recording on my PC. Oh, my graphics card is getting a little bit old. I'm going to be replacing it soon, hopefully, with a 970. I did buy a new motherboard the other day that supported it, because I'm clever. And uh, hopefully I'll get that installed soon. I'm not very good with PC, so I'm having to wait until I meet up with my friend who's going to do it for me. Because he's a champ. He's also the same guy that's my thumbnail, so big thank you to him while we're on him. Woo! Now watch out for those little uh, tyre stacks there. You touch those and they destroy your car. Come on, get, get it right this time. Ride it! Ride it, baby! Yeah! You ride a slide all the way around there, it's pretty glorious. Fantastic fun, these things. Yeah, if you like DTM, you'll love these. That's basically it. Oh, big lock up. Jimmy, Jimmy, why? Somehow made that corner. Oh, I sound like a turbo then. Oh, yeah, I mean, they're, they're. I don't want to sound arrogant. This sounds super arrogant, but like, there are. Every time I've driven a turbo in a, a game, I've sort of. Uh, up until now. I know when it's coming in. I don't get caught out by it. I've been caught out by this turbo so many times in this race alone. And I was driving the Silvia as well, which is another box car. And uh, that thing is equally as uh, turbo y. And that caught me out millions of times. Obviously, that's over situation, but you get the idea. A lot of these cars are really great. Like, I mean, my favourite car out of all of them is probably the Skyline because I am a bit, you know, a bit biased towards the old Japanese cars. But the Chevy Monza is fantastic fun to drive. The Capri, which has been around for ages, it's still awesome to drive. They're all really good to drive, to be honest. But you know, my, my favourite to drive is either this or the Monza, definitely. I thought I should probably talk about some other cars to tell this one because you never know. I might actually uh, do videos of those, of those at some point. Who knows? I think we'll be coming on to maybe our last lap now. I'm not sure. Maybe lap after this. I'm, on, I'm looking at the timing of the recording. Give me an idea of how long I've been going. And but I don't think we're there quite yet. Right, let's not lock up like a bit this time. You see the old tyre marks on the last lap, down into second gear, down into first over the kerb, wow! Took too much speed there. Oh God, it's, the gearbox feels so slow in this thing. It feels a long way behind the actual uh, car itself, which a turbo beast. I love turbo! And again, just managing that turbo on the exit, you hear me get off the throttle just a little bit to make sure I don't spin. Punching the way up the gearbox now into fourth, we'll get into fifth eventually. Can we catch these guys in front? Two more positions there. No idea what pace we're in, we'll find out at the end of the race. We start at 23rd, so I'm pretty sure we're above that. Hey, AI are a bit aggressive in race room, but... I don't think there's a game anywhere with decent AI, so I'll give them. Again, just trying to get the car turned in on that second gear. I love the external sound of that BMW. Oh wow, I gave it a bit too much power there. Almost carried myself off the course, and that's going to allow the uh, BMW to slip back by. But we're going to do our sexy dance and gain no time. <laughs> but it was sexy. I think maybe this or next lap will be the last lap. I'm not sure, but I want to try and get past the BMW before then. So braking a bit later than usual. So the BMW actually is looking at the, uh, the uh, that's a Monza in front. All the Porsches are just gone. I'm not surprised really, they have another 200 horsepower, so they're going to be quick around here. There's no way I'm catching any of those guys. I keep catching glimpses of the other skyline on my mirror, it's still there. Around the outside, there you go, but I've got to be careful with that turbo. When's it going to come in? There it is! Oh, I got that right at the nicest point there. I think the 320 is also similarly underpowered around here. I'm not sure, I think the 320 might have less power than this. I don't, I'm not quite sure of the, of the uh, figures of every car, but I know this is one of the slower ones. Listen to that V8! Oh, gorgeous. This is where I shine, baby. Corners. Anything American can not take corners for shite. That is pretty much the sim racing and racing 101. Unless you're looking at a Corvette GT car. Japanese for the win, baby! 
Come on, get round, get round, get round, get round, get round. Oh, the turbo. I love it. So we're on our own now. This is going to be interesting because these cars behind are faster than us in a straight line. So we've really got to do our best to uh, sort of stay ahead of them. Oh, I nearly clipped that orange uh, tyre stack there. That would have been a very fast way to slow my car down. Again, just whacking it into second gear. You can always really get it into dip the corner there, but I understeer like a bitch. Come on. Where's the turbo? Give it to me. Give it to me hard. Oh, ho, ho, yes. How many innuendos can I make in this video? We'll find out. Open innuendo count room, but that'd be too much hard work. I'm lazy. You can't see it right now, but I'm doing a thumbs up. Get off the grass, Jimmy. That's not a good place to be. I had, I had a massive crash when I was just practicing around here for the recording. It was right here. I just didn't break properly and I went into that wall on the outside. A bit like now. No, we're okay. I thought I was going to lose it then. Just playing with the turbo and forth. There it is. Oh, you just... You hear it start to come on in the revs. Oh, it's great. You feel the turbo come on every time. It's really great. There it is. All those things in the sim you don't really expect to have. Come around the last corner again. Oh, I love it every time. And over the line. I think we've got one more lap, which I'm not going to complain about whatsoever. I'm locking up the wheels a little bit. Don't want to be doing... No! God, I'm getting so close to that. How have I not hit it yet? I'm starting to get into the rhythm of driving this thing now. Got to give the turbo some respect, but you can't be shy of it either. That's where all the power and the ultimately the lap time is. Going second through there and then caressing, trying to straighten up the car before I smash it, and that was just awful through there. As you can hear, I'm using the old pattern box as well, which makes it even more interesting because I'm hill towing into the braking zone. Up into fifth gear again. The speed of these things is unreal. Even though it sort of sneaks up on you in this car, like it really does. You're, before you know it, you're doing 180 mile an hour. Oh! I had a bump there in the corner, that was interesting. Just put me up to the outside of the track. Luckily I didn't go off though, because if you put a wheel off there you get dragged out. Oh, they're so close, I'm not going to catch them. Whoa, that was effort though, wasn't it? Keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling. These things aren't easy to drive, they do bite you. I love being bitten. And there's the end of the race, I didn't come first. But how that was great. That was really fun. Where did I come in the end? Oh, 11th. Nice. Not bad. I think I was one of the highest Nissans as well, which is cool. Where, is it going to go around again? I want to see it again. Let me see it. Was, was that the highest Nissan? Please show me. Come on. Cycle. There you go. Uh, no, I wasn't. Mr. Yoshimoto was the highest Nissan, but I was second, although I was like seven places behind him. Anyway, guys, that was super fun. If you're into your old school racing cars, go and buy this. You will not regret it. I go by Salisbury Ring as well because it's an awesome track and if you don't think this is awesome then you are drunk sir and you need to, go, you need to seek help. Anyway guys, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it and uh, have an awesome day. See you later.